All right. Welcome to the fourth and final game of the evening. Um, up this time is The Legend of Gwen. Join this amazing magical adventure and help Gwen restore the moons. The Legend of Gwen is a hardcore platform game with a retro style where the objective is to get all the stars in each level. But the real question is, can you do it? Um, right. That's so, a way of phrasing that. Yes, I suppose it is. I would think, can you do the, Can you do it? Would usually be the question when a game presents you with an op, with a. I mean, it's usually the central question, like, but I. I know the answer to that, and it's like most probably not, because. Okay, this game is not good. Uh. In fact, it is very not good. Uh, uh, in fact, it is one of the worst games I have played all year. I know the year is young, but um, but yeah, it's still not. I'm like, uh, like trying to figure out where to start. I I'm looking at these camera angles, and they want you to do what? <laughs> yeah, I suppose that's a that's a good starting point. Like, okay, yeah, there's a depth factor here that I feel like oh god <laughs> is not is not amazingly accommodated for. That's uh, that's putting it mildly because th I had depth perception problems with this platforming game. For the audience, and, he normally does not have depth perception problems. Yeah, I'm like. Uh, I have both eyes and, you know, the vision contained within. So <laughs> it, it's the way this, uh, everything is set up because, uh, you know, I, I'm not sure if it's got a formal name or uh, declarative effect, but whatever's going on here, it's happening here where you think you can, uh, you're jumping to a place, but uh, you're off the mark. It's the it's the kind of problem I have with isometric platforming. Yeah, you know, looks like it's not exactly... almost like isometric, but with like locked scale. I suppose so. So no. the thing is, unless you have like 3ds style 3D, there will be some information lost. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh no. And but, the, the 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 job of the game is to in making the the 3D thing into a 2D thing that you're playing, and the job of the game is to make that not an issue, either by allowing you to change the camera to a necessary position to be able to make the jump you need to make, or by not requiring you to jump on something that in an isometric setup would look identical. Like, you know how in an isometric thing, something that is one block up and one block over. Right. Will, yeah. will, will look like it takes up the same space. Yep. And uh, this game, I see it does have like markers for where objects are when they're not where they are, sort of, but uh, still tricky. Yeah, that's not even the worst part of it. So what really kills this game is the drift. Oh, no. Why? Why did you do this? <laughs> Why did you? Because when Gwen jumps and lands... She does not stop. She moves. They committed one of the gamer sins. <laughs> and this is a platform game. Oh, I cannot no. tell you the amount of time, the amount of times I fell off a thing be, just because she would, you know, she had momentum going. Uh -huh. No, there look like there are some spots that are like more open roaming type things where I don't see that being much of a problem. That I'm also seeing, you know, intensely precise platforming stuff, and I'm like, oh, oh. no. Yeah. 
it wants you to do it wants you to do that in order to uh, complete the game. So, and like, good God, where did this game go right? Because I'm like the weapon, her, you know, her magic wand spells are fairly useless. You know, it's like it's one of those games where it's, you're off the mark. You have to do a lot more aiming than you want to. Right. Um, Some of the voxel art looks okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, it looks pretty nice. Just uh, that frame rate, doesn't the, matter much if you're having a hard time actually playing it. Yeah, the frame rate's pretty clunky, especially in the overworld. Though I guess asterisk with that because I know sometimes Intel graphics don't like voxel stuff mm-hmm. that much, so it could be a your computer thing. So. Yeah. Um, I remember and, that hell back with my laptop back in the day. Yeah. And just a lot of cheap deaths, and you only have three lives per level, and then you have to start everything over again. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I only got three levels in, but that's mainly because, well, you know... The jumping combined with the momentum combined with the camera problems equals a bad game that I didn't want to play no more. Understandable. Mm -hmm. And honestly, that's all I got. Like, it's, you know, it's one of those games that was so terrible, I. You know, I tried. I put about 90 minutes into the game. And I'm just like, this is shit. Mm -hmm. It's unfortunate, but it happens. You know, sometimes we get, you know, and I saw a colleague of mine basically hit upon the same points uh, in regards to this game. You know, just a complete coincidence that they were reviewing it at about the same time. But... (laughs) You know, serendipity is, a, serendipity is a hell of a thing. Yes, it is. And yeah, um, and the game clocks in at twenty dollars. Ooh, no! Yeah. A thousand times no on that. Once again, um, this is looking to be a shoe in for the worst of list for the year. Um. And yeah, that's about all I got. I did not want to spend too much time with this um, particular title. So it looks like a week of mad to terrible games this week. Mm, sometimes, well, no, Donut Dota was uh, uh, was pretty was really solid. Ah, fair enough. I it did... looked weird. From it looked... I, I I had the thing open and it looked weird, but. It's something that's aping the golden age of arcade, so... Oh, no, I can tell that. It just, it looked a little bit like Donkey Kong on drugs. Yeah. So, Donkey Kong. But my point is... (laughs) That one was... More drugs. You know, that one was... That one was a solid game. You know? Yeah, the the way that it looked weird, it was clearly intentional and not weird because they did something wrong. Anyway, um, so yeah, that'll about do it for this week. So, and coming up on the week ahead, um, coming up on Wednesday, March 15th, we'll be having John Pickett of Manga Gamer returning to the program uh, to talk about visual novels um, of naughty varieties again. Um, on Friday, March 17th, we are scheduled to have... Um, Andrew from CGA Studio and Andrew from Repixelate on the program, but they have not um, confirmed yet. I'll I'll probably give them another poke on uh, on the morrow there. And also happening this Wednesday, the season finale of Moonhawk Studios Presents. um, Where 
uh, yeah, the 15th season is coming to conclusion, and that will be off for a month. Um, fragments will continue until the end of March. So, with all that in mind, until, and yeah, next week's reviews will be on a Monday, due to various factors, but until then, um, I shall wish you good gaming. <laughs>